do you think Hillary Clinton should have been charged for, for, for treason? Oh, oh, definitely, yeah. But the Clinton clan will always will cover them no matter what happens. And if Trump has found that he had the classified documents, would you want to charge him with treason? No, negative. No. No, I would not. And let's talk about this specifically. It's like, okay, Donald Trump's a patriot. Hillary's not. Therefore, you know, she should go to jail and face punishment. But if Trump did it, no. Because I trust him with, you know, the nuclear codes and information uh, that he could just, you know, willy-nilly give to other countries who are our enemies and stuff like that. You know, I, I'm, I'm totally cool with him just having that. But Hillary, nah. You know, it, so again, total lack of principle. Like, there's no principle there whatsoever. You're just arbitrarily deciding who gets punished and who doesn't. What is that authoritarianism? What are they authoritarians? That's that's all that is. You know, and, and what what brilliant in depth thinking is that? It's like, well, like he had to find something, right? He he just likes the guy. You know, they, they just they, and that's the thing about people like Trump and people who really follow him at this point. They just like the guy. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not it, it's not about policy. It's not about principle. They just like him. You know, he just makes them feel really. He just they just like how he makes them feel. If he did the same thing that with Hillary, would you want him to be charged? No, I wouldn't. So as videos like this and, you know, us watching all the things that Donald Trump has gone through legally, you know, over and over and over again that show us what we're really dealing with from a sociological and political perspective in this country, you know, about 30 to 35 percent who's just totally on board with anything Trump does. You know, they're totally on board with everything that the Supreme Court's doing because they're so deep in the game. But, you know, the bigger issue is much, much bigger than 2024. It's that we're dealing with millions of people who are deeply emerged within a far right wing culture that's completely destructive to the foundation of what this country is supposed to be, who have children, who are teaching their children this BS. So, again, this is a generational problem because why it's not just them, but it's our educational system, it's our healthcare system, it's our failing infrastructure on top of men's, millions of people, tens of millions of people who literally think like this guy that we just watched so you know this is a much bigger problem and why we have to be much more politically involved than we ever have because we can't allow people like this to dictate the direction that this country's going no for her she could be good treason maybe potentially die him if he did the same thing right. no treason because trump is a patriot hillary is not i mean honestly at this point donald trump is still the you know head runner in the Republican Party, you know, looking like he's going to be the 2024 nominee. He doesn't necessarily have enough support to win a general election. However, that being the case, if anybody in the Republican Party really, really steps up who has popularity, they may put a dent in him, aka Ron DeSantis. If Ron DeSantis really decided to make a public image and say, you know what, screw this guy, get him out of here. It's my turn to shine. He may actually be able to become the 2024 nominee, even if Donald Trump isn't in jail, which, you know, none of us are holding our breath about. None of us are holding our breath about anything, uh, you know, about punishing Donald Trump and him actually facing repercussions in terms of him being in prison. However, you know, if somebody steps up to the plate, if all of these Republicans replace him, I mean, it's possible at this point, is it not? Eh, that's Republicans we're talking about. So it's very likely still to be Donald Trump in 2024. I think that was definitely a uh, uh, quick foreshadowing of what's coming in the 2024 elections.